This special presentation is brought to you by Dance Hall Divas, premiering September 10. Me love Jamaica, me not sell out. Them dry clip we wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, rosemary fruit and banana. Under the tree with a glass of lemonade. Jumping on the river when me ready for paid No boy can't buy me out Me no foreign minded now you compare to Jamaica uh. Jamaica love We wanna feel Jamaica love Everybody wanna visit Jamaica Jamaica love Jamaica Jamaica love We wanna see Jamaica love the one that represents the citizens of Jamaica Jamaica love, Jamaica Represent where you born, two enough hurricane and star From the time we're chopping, no matter about tax man Still a hustle hard and a go on Jamaican have the link to the link They connect Canada and American England Make sure say when they are found and a hustle Mama visit Western Union To make with the love with foundation All the hard man them fear of ambition Don't fly south all the money back It's a spirit, any sick comes and all militias Hello everyone, I'm Tasha Gay and you're watching a special presentation in honor of Jamaica's 58th Independence Celebration. Featuring cast members from one of the most anticipated new reality shows, Dance Hall Divas. Now, Dance Hall Divas showcases a diverse group of women, all from Jamaican background, each bringing their own unique style, vibe and energy to this Dance Hall Lifestyle series. Set to premiere in September, the series will showcase the everyday lives of six vivacious, independent, and career-driven divas from four of the world's most populous dance hall cities. Viewers. We'll learn more about them and their upbringing in Jamaica. We will hear how they feel about their heritage and representing Jamaica abroad. But first, let's meet the woman behind the series, Heather Elliott Whitehead. She is creator and executive producer. Heather, it's my pleasure to speak with you. Thank you for asking me to host this special feature tonight. Thank you, Tasha. First of all, thank you for agreeing to host the show. We're very delighted. So, Heather, I have to ask. This show, how important is it for Jamaicans to identify with this show? Why is it so important? Why did you want to do this during Independence Day? What, why did you want to make it this special feature? You know what? Um, thank you for asking that question, Tasha. It is extremely important for Jamaicans to connect with this show because the show belongs to them. Um, ironically, the theme for Independence this year is resilient and strong. Together, we celebrate Jamaica 58. What better words to describe the women who are on the stage right now? They're resilient in the face of harsh criticisms by virtue of just being on the show. They have endured a lot, both in their personal and professional lives. And I thought, you know, this was the perfect uh, time, the perfect fit, the perfect theme to celebrate the show while we promote. We're premiering in September and it's just around the corner and we wanted to, um, you know, seize this opportunity to show the women to the world and to Jamaica. And by the way, happy 58th day of independence, Jamaica. Thanks. <laughs> so we're all celebrating our independence and it's something special for all of us. All of us yeah. have our Jamaican backgrounds. You know, we're not all in Jamaica, but we share that. That's what we have in common. So we're here to celebrate. It's a celebratory type of day and we're looking forward to that. I was born in London, UK. Um, my, obviously my parents are Jamaican descendant. And my, from when I was younger, my household was always very, very Jamaican influenced, down to the music, down to the food, down to the lingo. So even though I'm from the UK, all I know is being a, a Jamaican descendant child. So in the show, you're gonna get to see, which some viewers may not see, how much the culture is carried 
um, down to generations, um, to children and our children. Mm -hmm. Everything is still very, very much Jamaican in the household, even though we do come from a westernized country. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to people just seeing that no matter where you are mm -hmm. in, in this world, being a Jamaican person, being Jamaican heritage, it sticks with you. I was brought up on sound system. So mm -hmm. that's where my music influence come from. I was listening to, you know, Dennis Brown, Bob Marley from when I was little. Um, so I'm, as far as I know, I'm Jamaican. It's in me. I may sound English, but I'm fully um, Jamaican heritage. So you'll get to see um, my background and um, in the show and where I'm coming from and, and the influence that has been passed down to me. My favorite Jamaican dish is two peas, but it has to have pig tail. I'm sorry for the, the non-pork eater, but the two peas have to have pig tail again. I literally- Barbie giving you a peas. thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> I like the privilege of going back and forth and not being stuck in one country, but I am technically always in Jamaica. I come back at least twice, three times a year. I stay for a month at a time. So I'm technically always here. I just, it's nice living in Canada, but there's no real like home. Okay, and that's true. No place like home. So what a nice place we live. Sweet jam down the only problem is Dallas now run so what a nice place we live. Sweet jam down the only problem is Um Independence in Jamaica was um dressing up. Um and even though we all look the same, there's no argument because everyone got on the same t-shirt, Jamaica <laughs> or the lion, and then we would leave from Waterford and walk all the way to Bayside. Mm. That's where Port Moore. Would, mm. Yes, Port Moore, where we'll, we would party from night till dawn in groups, though. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. walk up home all the way from Bayside back to Waterford with a little bandage standing in our hands. <laughs> That's back in the days. Shauna, tell us. What does it mean to you, Independence Day in Jamaica, celebrating so many years of freedom? What does that mean to you? It means we get a chance to be ourselves authentically. We get to express our culture because we are all Jamaican. So we know our culture is very rich from our mm -hmm. food to our music to mm -hmm. our lifestyle to the mm -hmm. island itself. It's just an amazing place. So independence mean live your pride and celebrate your culture. To me, Independence Day means strength, culture. It means unity as, you know, a community, as a nation. Usually, I go to Jamaica almost every year. Um, there's a couple of years since I've been born that I haven't gone, but most of the time I'm there. I always, well, lately, for, since being an adult, I'm always in um, St. Anne's. So St. Anne's will be, be my first place that I go to because that's where the family house is. Okay, okay. St. Anne's. So I'm from St. Anne's as well, so definitely oh, well, come by for some of that food. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up around Jamaicans, but you've never lived here. However, what was that like for you? How, these, how did Jamaicans in your household or around you, how did they influence you? Uh, I grew up with my grandmother. So my grandmother was very, very, very old school Jamaican. Um, it was... It was it was it was okay. Um, sometimes I was like, "Grandmother, you're so old school," but she was very strict. Mm -hmm. um, we had to read our Bible every night. Mm -hmm. You know, um, certain foods, certain days a week. Mm -hmm. And I basically grew up and did that with my children now. So 
I think what, by then when I was looking at it at that time, I was like, oh my God, this is so old school. But then now as I'm growing up and I set the same culture with my children, yeah, yeah, I can see. But yeah, my children, I take my children to Jamaica all the time. Mm, okay. I take them all the time. The, the, the fun thing that they like is the mineral bath. They love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they love Don River Fall. But yes, it's very important that they know their culture um because that's my culture so yeah i think every tourist should visit trenchtown the culture yard that's where bob marley um lived that's where he grew up his hut is still there his little bed is still in the room his pots and pan it's a really good um experience because it kind of gives you a feel of how we grew up how we lived i went there and it was very it was really dope to see all that you know because it's a legend of course and then mystic mountain for sure because that's where you have like they have a lot of jamaican stuff like the rides are dope the attractions are dope and for sure it's cafe because of just if well like, for me if you're scared of heights and scared of water you can over, overcome that fear just jumping off that little bridge they have there so those three for sure Oh, that's easy. My top three reasons for being a proud Jamaican is one, I was born in Jamaica. Um, Jamaica is synonymous with culture, synonymous with pride, it's synonymous with people like Jusain Bowl, Bob Marley, Oxtail, Curry Chicken, you know, Beef Patty. Why wouldn't I want, you know, why wouldn't I be proud of, uh, from Jamaica? And, and secondly, our strength as women. Jamaican women around the world are known to be a force of nature. So um, whenever I'm, you know, I'm at a business meeting or I travel, they're asked, well, your, your accent sounds very familiar. Where are you from? And I'll say I'm from Jamaica. And they're like, ah, Jamaican women. So there's something very special about us. And the third is, I believe um, a lot of Jamaicans like myself or foundation. Um, Jamaicans, you know, we're from the, Jamaica is a Bible belt in the Caribbean. Um, I guess every corner there's a church as much as there's a bar, but there is a church and we grew up, um, as, as Barbie was saying about her grandmother, we grew up uh, with the Bible. We grew up uh, with religion as part of our, our existence, as part of our identity. Um, and I just want to steal one more and just say dance hall. <laughs> it's who we are and uh, that's what we're about here tonight. One thing that all Jamaicans should have, and if you haven't got it, I don't know if you're Jamaican, <laughs> is a Dutch pot. Definitely. <laughs> all right, moving on. Barbie, tell us one thing. A Bible. True. Can't do it without a Bible. And we're yes. going to go on to Peppa. One thing you're supposed to have once you're a Jamaican. A machete or a cutlass. <laughs> if you don't have that, you're not safe. For gardening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, juicy buddy, one thing you're supposed to have as a Jamaican, one thing to identify you. You know what I'm going to say? And as I'm thinking about it, I was going to say the immunization shot. You have your mark on your arm. But you know what? Some Jamaicans said I don't have it. So, but I feel like if you have it, you know say you're from Jamaica. Yeah. I think we all have that. That's like our most <laughs> We all have that one thing on our arm. Um, Sky, one thing that you're supposed to have as a Jamaican that makes you Jamaican. Ah, one thing I think every Jamaican need is that declaration. Um, little thing in the kitchen, when you come here, what you see here, let it stay here or don't come here. Because you know a lot of people go to people's house and be nosy and take it back outside. So we have to give them the check. Yeah, girl, we know those people. Everybody can attest the difference with dancehall lifestyle in the Caribbean and dancehall lifestyle overseas. What have you noticed? I know you travel extensively and you've experienced it in different cultures. So tell us what difference have you noticed? Yeah, in the well, I was doing um, a lot of uh, research for the show. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to a lot of parties uh, in Jamaica and in Toronto primarily where I have a home as well. Um, and Toronto was actually what did it for me. But I'll tell you the difference I, that I've seen based on my research and my observation is that dancehall in Jamaica is 
somewhat part of your birthright, you know, for those of, of uh, for those of you or those of the, the persons who are part of it. But then there's another part of Jamaica that are totally against it. Um, in the diaspora, in the cities that the women represent, dance hall is almost like your social identity for some people. So they may work as a nurse, they may work as a cook, they may work as a gardener, as a garbage man, as a store owner, whatever the case may be. On the weekend, they belong to that culture. They belong to that dance hall entity. They belong to that social space. And it's something that they look forward to. Whereas in Jamaica, you may live in Kingston and, oh, tell me, I go up to the plaza. Oh, yeah, go up there, yeah, man, because boom, boom up there. Mm -hmm. It's just normal. You just not go to the plaza tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the United States and, you know, Canada, New York, wherever the, the, the dance hall cities are, you actually mm -hmm. have to go out and buy an outfit. You have to mm -hmm. save up for your bottle of champagne. You have to save up for your designer gear. It's, it's an event. Mm -hmm. It's something that you aspire to. And that's the big difference that I've seen and that I've uh, researched. Festival song, Wedding Festival song. Do you connect with it in any way? So this is a song, I'm, I'm a Jamaican by Buju Bantan. If any one of you can respond to this one, do you find yourself connecting to that song in any kind of way? I'll say definitely yes. I find myself connected to Buju's song, I Am A Jamaican. Because mm -hmm. honestly, I'm in a foreign country and a lot of people look at it like, oh, you're you're far away, you're not Jamaican anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, despite how long or whenever it was that I left Jamaica, mm -hmm. deep within me, in my heart, in my soul, I am a Jamaican no matter where I go. Yeah. And that's that. What's the first thing you do after you land in Jamaica? So first day off the plane, step off the runway, what's the first thing you're doing? Can I go <laughs> get some steamed fish? <laughs> They're all excited. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let me take from Shauna. Shauna, tell us. What's the I first mean, place? the food, man. The food. food. It's like the first thing I want to do is go to Hell Shop. I'm from Port Moore, too. Go to Hell Shop, get me a steamed fish, and some fried lobster. Yeah. It's the bomb. <laughs> Sima, I see you're aching to go. I'm going to go. So, yeah, exactly. The first thing I do is stop off at the little jerk center near my nan's house and get some food. And then the first thing I do, the second thing I do, sorry, is go and see my nana. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're visiting family. Okay, yeah. Sky, question for you. Name three Jamaican dishes that you love to cook the most and why. Oh, wow. That's right up my alley. <laughs> I love to cook liver and provision food, which is junk food, yam, banana, cassava. And the reason why I love to cook liver, my mom always cook liver and always tell us it's good for you. But as you go older, you know it has iron, it has zinc, it has a vitamin C, so I'm, I'm hooked on it. Also, second dish is cabbage and saltfish. And the reason why I love that dish, while I was, while I was pregnant, that's all I could eat. Okay. My third dish is chicken back and white rice. Oh, Lord, just give me my chicken back. Don't give me any chicken. Give, I love bones. I'll be chewing all day. <laughs> I would say one thing that set me apart from any of my friends that obviously weren't Jamaican um, is the vibes, like our vibes. We always have music. As I said, my, um, my dad and my uncle had a sound system. So all their friends would always be around um, playing in my grandma's shed, uh, playing music till late at night. The parties, anything we would do, birthday parties, um, christenings, Christmas even, it would just be loads of food, loads of drink, loads of people. So yeah. it was different. The music, most, most of all, the music and the food. So I think that's what sets us apart from other cultures, is that the other cultures love, love our music and love our food. The first thing I want to do is see my family. That's number one. And then definitely some food because there's nothing like some real 
soul cook, soul food. Because yeah. honestly, it's there are Caribbean foods everywhere, but it's not the same when you're not home. It has to be home cooked, mm-hmm. you know, in Jamaica, in the heart. That's the first thing I want to do, family and food. And I said, smile, girl, smile, oh, Lord, smile for me. Ladies and gentlemen, all the people in here, I want to make them introduce themselves one by one. They don't know that they get here from Jamaica and who are we going to find out that they can make it work in Tell us why Jamaicans should watch Dance All Divas. We can start with uh, Barbie, if you want to go ahead. Um, I believe that they should watch our show because it's the culture. Mm-hmm. Um, they would see how Dance Hall really is. It's not mm-hmm. only just about skidding out, you know, and dressing provocative. You know, there's, there's so much to it. So they're going to see a lot of class, mm-hmm. drama, and, you know, culture. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I believe that the viewers would love it and they should watch it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Barbie. Shauna? I think they're going to love this show. Reason mm-hmm. being, it's not just straight. Dinosaur have a little stigma to it. Yeah. As what, um, like what Heather was saying earlier. However, these women are bringing drama, they're bringing class, they're bringing fashion, they're bringing lifestyle. We're giving people a chance to open your mind when it comes to dance hall. Like it's not just like what um, Barbie said, the skin out and all of that. There's so much more to us as dance hall Jamaican women and these ladies are gonna bring it so you guys can see it. So I'm excited and I know they're gonna love, love this show. Because mm-hmm. you're going to see how strong the culture is, how diverse it is, um, how unique we are as a people, and um, the struggles that we have, um, the celebrations we have, um, how we see family, how we see music, the lingo. And you're also going to see through generations of Jamaican descendants how people are living in um, different countries. So you may have a cousin that's in the UK or a cousin that's in the US or Canada that you haven't seen or met. And it may give you an example how they've grown up or the things they're mm-hmm. facing and how, how strong the tradition still stays in that person. So mm-hmm. you'll get to see all of that. Okay, so we're taking the culture to a whole new level. We're bringing the heat, the sauce, the spice, the real authentic Jamaican vibe. We're bringing it. And when young girls watch, they could see that like, they could see that Jamaicans are ambitious. We're determined. They can see themselves because at the end of the day, we, we were that young child, you know, like they could see that dreams do come true. If they just, you know, believe in yourself and aim for the stars. And they say the sky is the limit, but it's not the sky. Your mindset is the limit. Your mindset is the limit. And if you can believe it, you can achieve it. So they'll see all this and they'll see that, listen, the color, like the color of our skin doesn't matter. And we're going to represent. We're going to represent for a country of our nation. Now it's not done. We're going to be bringing the drama. That's definitely for sure. But we're also relatable. So people can relate to at least one of the divas. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to everybody in the world that's watching, or watching and in the nation, there's something that we've done or that they can see that, you know, they can reflect back on their lives and be like, okay, I can do that. You know, we are there for them to look up to and be like, I can achieve my goals and it is possible. And just like Peppa said, it's your mindset. Happy 58th Independence, Jamaica. On behalf of the Dance All Divas, the production crew, we want to wish Jamaicans everywhere across the world and in Jamaica a very happy 58th Independence. We love you. We can't wait to show you our show in September. It's premiering worldwide. Go to danceolddivas.tv for more information. 
Happy Independence Day. Say happy Independence, guys. Happy, happy Independence, Independence Day. Day. That's all divas. This special presentation is brought to you by Dance Hall Divas, premiering September 10.